data models, which were added to the 2013 release of Excel, allow you to relate multiple Excel tables together and then build pivot tables from the related tables. Using this approach, you can effectively build a pivot table from multiple Excel-based data sources as long as you maintain those sources as tables in Excel. In this tip, you will learn just how easy it is to build a pivot table using Excel's data model feature. To build a pivot table using the data model feature, you need to follow three steps. First, create the data model. Second, establish relationships between the tables in the data model. And finally, third, build the pivot table. To build a pivot table from multiple tables, you must first add the tables to the data model. To do so, ensure that each of the data sources you wish to include in your pivot table is stored in Excel as a table. If not, convert each data range to a table by clicking in the data range and then choosing Format as a Table from the Home tab of the ribbon. With your data sources established as tables, next, click on any cell in any one of the tables in the workbook and choose Pivot Table from the Insert tab of the ribbon. As you can see, this opens the Create Pivot Table dialog box currently shown on screen. In the Create Pivot Table dialog box, check the box near the bottom of the window labeled Add This Data to the Data Model. Doing so causes Excel to add all tables in the current workbook to the data model. Click OK to close the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Upon closing the Create Pivot Table dialog box, Excel displays the window currently shown. This window, of course, provides us with the opportunity of building our pivot table. But before we can do that, we must first relate the different tables together. Establishing relationships between the tables is just a means of joining or linking the tables together based on the presence of one or more common columns between the two tables. In this case, Clicking the All button in the upper right-hand corner shows us that we have two tables available for this pivot table, the Product table and the Trans table. The presence of the horizontal line between the two tables indicates that these two tables are not yet related. To establish relationships between these tables, from the Pivot Table Tools Analyze tab of the ribbon, click Relationships. Then click New to create a new relationship. In the Create Relationship dialog box, on the left-hand side, select the Product table and also select the Trans table. On the right-hand side, select the common field that resides in each of the two tables. In this case, Product ID is the field that we will use to establish the relationship. Click OK to complete the process of creating the relationship. Next, close the Manage Relationships dialog box. Now notice in our Pivot Table field list that the horizontal line that previously separated the Product table from the Trans table has disappeared. This is confirmation that we have in fact related the tables. The last step is to actually build the Pivot Table. In this case, from the product table, we're going to click and drag the product name into the rows quadrant. And then from the transaction table, we will click and also drag the customer name into the rows quadrant. Let's take the calculated extension field and drop that into the values quadrant. And lastly, let's take the year and drop that into the columns quadrant. As you can see, we now have a pivot table that has been constructed from multiple data sources. In this case, those multiple data sources were multiple tables in the workbook that had been added to Excel's data model. With Excel 2013, you have native ability within Excel to build pivot tables from multiple data sources as long as these data sources are tables in Excel. To do so, simply add the tables to the data model, relate the tables together, and then construct these very powerful pivot tables just as you would any other pivot table. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.